so my name is Shane Hartline. I am a actor and I also, since the age of five or six, I've had a mild case of spasmodic dysphonia. It's very important to us in the beginning to find somebody with the condition to, to play the character, the main character who has SD. I, we did a, a search that was within our means, you know, we did as much as we could to try to find somebody that could, but you know, it was very challenging, like, and I, I don't, I kind of want to say like finding a needle in a haystack of finding somebody with the strong enough acting skills and the heavier case of the condition. Um, it was, it was impossible. You know, it was very, very hard. I'm not saying that that person isn't out there, but we just couldn't find them, unfortunately. But we spent a lot of time looking and, um, and because, you know, if we, okay, we could have, we could have casted somebody with a condition, but if they don't have the acting, it's, 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 it'd be like if I pulled a person off the street to, hey, be my lawyer. Uh, I don't really have any lawyer experience. Ah, that's okay. You know, it would, it would affect the film. And, and, you know, we want as many people to see this as possible. So when we made the decision that um, uh, we, want to, we want to find an actress to portray the condition, there were many things I did. I reached out to the NSDA. You know, I, I asked several people with the condition, what are your thoughts on this? And also it was, it was you know, the person that, ha that we would uh, reach out to or the people that we asked to go on tape for it had to do their research, had to learn the condition, had to agree to spend many sessions with a vocal coach that to which Trilby did. You know, so there was a lot of, there's no arguments here. You're gonna have to do this because there's no way around it. You're not gonna show up and, and um, I, don't, I don't mean to curse, but half ass it. You know, this is something that needs to be taken seriously. And I made sure of that. Um, you know, and so we found a small group of actresses that we, you know, had gone tape and that were dwindled down and considered. And Trilby, you know, to me, embodied, uh, you know, because this is loosely based on me, like a heavy case of my condition. So she's who I connected with the most. And without question, she's like, yeah, I'll go to classes. She Skyped with many people with the condition. Um, so it was a process, but it, you know, we didn't have a lot of time too. So we were, you know, that's also why, like, if we had say the dream is to maybe turn this into a feature one day, you know, if we had the budget to do a nationwide search and the time we might find somebody out there with the acting ability and the condition, but it is, as you know, such a rare condition that with the, the means and the resources that we had, we just couldn't find it. You know, she honored the condition in such a beautiful way. Uh, I, the last day on set, I was, I was in tears because it was, she, in such a unique way, and I can't wait for people to see this, but in such a unique way, she showed the pain in such a simple way that I just was weeping after this one take. And it was just like, man, yeah, like I felt that. Like I've been there, I am there, you know? Um, so yeah, Trilby did a beautiful job, took it so seriously. And there was no other way around it. We couldn't have anybody that didn't. A lot of people have asked me, when can I see Cookie? And I wish I could just throw it up right now. But it's so important that the release for Cookie's handled in the right way. Um, and so we've submitted to a bunch of festivals and the point of festivals, because a lot of people don't understand, you know, this entertain, crazy entertainment business. Um, the point of festivals is, you know, you submit to festivals to obviously uh, gain awareness and get it in front of as many people as possible. But the more festivals that we get into and potentially, you know, win awards and um, some of these festivals are Oscar qualifying festivals. So then we could potentially submit to the Oscar. So the more you submit to and get accepted to, it just expands the awareness, which is the point of this film. And then once the festival run is finished and potentially mid uh, 2020 or, you know, summer, potentially, I'm thinking that will be around the time when we can release it publicly online. And that's when, you know, even more exposure happens, but it's just so important that the release is done correctly and carefully and so that you know it's just not thrown out there and see what happens it's you know uh, i want them i want as many people to see this as possible for the reason like i said is that even people you know with a vocal condition should be confident enough and feel that is if they can 
be an actor if they want to or do anything they want to because they can tell a story too. Thank you.